Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about stop allowing your spouse to run in and out of your life. So this video, I'm talking to God-ordained spouses. So I'm not talking to standards. Standards are those who are currently married and you're dealing with a prodigal husband or wife. I'm not talking to you. You can listen in because you can benefit from what I'm about to say, but I'm speaking to God-ordained spouses. You know you are God-ordained spouse because you are currently single and God has been revealing to you in your dreams or vision, you know, your future God-ordained husband or wife. I'm speaking to you. Listen up. Some of you are obedient to this divine separation, but then there's others who still allowing this prodigal to run in and out of your life. And it's frustrating you. You're getting upset with God. You know, um, you feeling not good enough. And you got to begin to understand, you feel this way because of what, you keep opening up the door too. You have to begin to understand whenever you're dealing with a person, okay, who's constantly running in and out of your life, that lowers your value. Your behavior is communicating to this individual, you know, that you don't know your worth and value. Your behavior, because you keep opening up the door to this disrespect, this mistreatment, you allow this person to keep you as an option. You got to begin to understand this person, you know, it's going to keep you in that option category, okay? You give them no reason to change because this is what you accept, okay? So if you want to see change happen in your love story, if you want this person, your person, you know, to change for the better, to, to recognize who you are to them, you have to begin to do something different. You have to be willing to leave. You have to be willing to let this person go and for some of you, you have a fear that if I let them go, they're going to marry the counterfeit. You have to even be willing to allow this person to marry a counterfeit, right? Because it goes right back to, because I know my value. I'm not going to hold on to something that no longer serves me. I'm not going to hold on to the very thing that keep breaking me down just because I'm afraid you might marry a counterfeit. Go marry that counterfeit. If that's going to save me peace, hey, I want my peace. I'm going to choose peace. Okay, if that's going to help, you know, if I got to let you go in order for my self-esteem to stay intact, hey, peace, you got to go, right? So we got to begin to understand, okay? You got to begin to understand. You're not waiting on God in this love story. God waiting on you. He waiting on you to give up your Isaac. God asked Abraham, well, he told Abraham, he said, go take your son, your only son, and sacrifice him. He was testing Abraham's heart. He was testing his heart to see, do you love your son more than you love me? The one who gave you this son, right? And God is testing many of your, your hearts. He, he's telling you, let him go. He's telling you, go in divine separation. Some of you, like I said, you're you're obedient to it. Others, you know, you go in there for a week, you come back out. You know, <laughs> you can't stay out of that kitchen, right? And you don't even understand how you're showing up to your person. You don't even understand how you in your own way. You don't even understand how, you know, you can help this person. You can let them know how you prayed about them, support them, be they ride or die. But let me tell you something. When you doing all this and you accepting less than best from this individual, that person, your prodigal, know they should be giving you their best. But they trying to see what are you willing to accept. And if you keep on accepting less, Less is what you're going to continue to get. I need you to understand this, okay? So God said, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He said, you are the apple of his eye. God said, you are precious in his sight. He, what God is saying is, you are of great value. God is saying, you are rare. You are different. You are unique. God is saying, know your value. And don't ever allow a person to run in and out of your life treating you less than how God treat you. God, he doesn't even treat you like this. So why are you accepting this from this person? Just because God tells you this person is your God-ordained future husband or wife, that don't mean God wants you to sit up there and deal with mistreatment. God said, I got plans to prosper you, not to harm you. So if God... He's not the one putting you in harm's way. Many of you think because your prodigal reached out to you, you think that's God, you know, telling them to reach out to you. 
you think that's God sending your person back to you. No, you just came across this person's mind and they reached out to you. God's word cannot return back to him void. God said, I cannot lie. So when scriptures say in Jeremiah 29, 11, I have plans to prosper you and not harm you. When this prodigal reaches out to you, only to reject you, only to hurt you, that's not God. We got to begin to understand the ways of God. And so understand, I'm not going to make this long. You have to get to a place where you stop allowing this person to run in and out of your life because, again, it's lowering your value. You're not allowing this person, you're not helping this person to see your value. You're actually teaching them how to continue to mistreat you. You're actually, you know, you're keeping yourself in a cycle of rejection that God is trying to break off of your life. Come on now. So during this divine separation, this is the time for you to be practicing self-love. This is the time for you to, you know, raise your self-esteem. This is the time for you to get clear on your boundaries, you know, your standards. This is the time for you to ask yourself some hard questions. Why do I keep on opening up the door to this? Why do I continue to tolerate this? Why do I allow this? Why do I allow this person to keep me as an option? You got to go there with yourself and give yourself the honest truth because you deserve it better. You deserve it better. Okay? It just, it's just a matter of when you're going to require it to come you know, when you're going to require for better to come to you because it's out there and your spouse can give you their best, but you got to require it from them. Okay. So that is it. Uh, let me just remind everyone our how to write a book class. Um, it is starting next month, June the 13th. I'm going to be teaching on how to write a, how to write, publish and become an Amazon bestselling author. So if I'm speaking to you, you know, you have a book in you and you want to you know, publish that book this year, go ahead and sign up to our class. Um, just head over to godordainedmarriages.com forward slash book class, sign up. The link will also be in the description area. Uh, I'm going to give you the blueprint I use to help that has helped me to publish 10 books, okay? So make sure you go ahead and get signed up today. I am Tiki McComan. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.